Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Um, sorry about the sound effects, it's raining at the moment. And that's the sound of rain on Davo's shed roof. You might have seen the video the other day um, I did on my ignition system for the 45 series Land Cruiser. Um, my final diagnosis was that the coil was uh, no good. Basically, it, it looks all right when it's cold, but when you run the engine for a while, um, the coil heats up and I think um, so there, something expands and breaks the contact inside the coil. Don't know for sure. Um, what I've decided to do is figure out a way to test it. Might not be a valid test, but it looks like fun. Um, I've got a distributor here that was, uh, it's not the one from the car, it's one that uh, I've ha been using before. Um, mechanic recommended I take it out. He said it was leaking oil. I'm not really exactly sure where it was leaking. I've got a feeling it was uh, going up the inside of the spindle. Um, if it was just, if it was just uh, this seal here leaking, that would have been very easy to replace. But he couldn't get it apart because the pin the pin in there is, is peened over and you can't get the spindle out. Uh, maybe one day I'll pull that apart, see what's going on inside it. But at the moment it was still making a spark so um, and running the car all right except for losing a bit of oil. So I'm going to use that for a test. Uh, this is a piece of angle iron I um, repurposed you might say. It used to be a piece of bed frame. I've just cut six holes in it here with uh, and run a 20 mil tap down it just happens to be the same size as the thread on the spark plugs so that makes it really easy to, to mount the spark plug and i won't have them rolling all around the bench zapping myself with them and trying to earth every one of them um, i'll just give you a rundown on the setup here and then we'll see what happens basically the um the positive wire from the distributor goes to the positive terminal on the coil the negative wire on the distributor that's the white one here or the black lead with the white plug goes to the negative lead or the negative terminal on the coil negative battery is just earthed and whether you can see that probably not negative on the on the battery is just earthed to the frame just like it would on the car and the positive will stick on the positive coil terminal here that's just like turning the key on the car so we'll leave that off until i'm ready to go uh, just to see what it is while it's all cold if i even with these connections on it doesn't make any difference if i put my uh my meter is set to ohms if i put my probes on those two, if you look at the meter there, should go down to about 1.3 ohms, something like that. Okay, 1.4. Um, the specification for the car, or actually the specification, yeah, for the car is 1.3 to 1.6 ohms. Um, the one in the car has got a, uh, a points distributor, but this distributor is an electronic one, doesn't have points inside it. It's supposed to have a, a coil resistance of 0.5 to 1 ohms. If I touch my two probes together while I've got it set to ohms, you can see I get a reading of about 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So my meter's out by about 0.3 of an ohm because there should be no resistance at all when I've got those two um, poles together. So basically, if I can take 0.3 of an ohm off this reading, Bring it down to about 1 ohm or 1.1 ohms. 1.1. 1 .1. Um, this distributor has a rating of a or requirement for a coil between 0.5 and 1 ohm. So that's this coil in its current state is good for this distributor. And the other the other reading that's significant is the number of ohms from the central high tension pole here to the positive actually positive and negative all show the same thing. So if I bring that around to 200,000 ohms or 200K, 
that'll give, show me a reading up to 200,000 ohms. So if I now touch the negative one on the inside, doesn't matter which way around they are, and a positive one to the positive terminal, I get a reading of 13.4, 13.3. So that's 13.3 thousand ohms or kilo ohms um, and this coil is supposed to be from 10.7 to 14.5 so it's pretty much right in the middle of what uh, the specifications are for this coil when it's new so I know that's a lot of numbers but basically this coil in its cold state um, is within the spec specifications for this distributor. Now I'm not quite sure whether this is going to work, excuse me, but I've got a little tachometer here that tells me how fast um, the distributor is spinning, which will be important in a minute. Got a battery in it. But it's, it's also capable of measuring temperature. So if I point my little laser dot at the coil, it says 25.1 degrees Celsius. And that's basically what the ambient temperature is at the moment. Um, if you want to know what that is in Fahrenheit, you uh, multiply by 1.8 and add 32. Or get with the century. All right, what I'll do now is um, let's see if we can get a spark out of out of this one spark plug I've got in here. This leads on the central pole of this of the distributor, and I'll connect that to the high tension connection on the coil. Like that. Now, as I said, this. When I connect this to the positive terminal on the coil, that will simulate me turning the key on. I'll get a bit of a spark, what I did before anyway. I'll just bring you down where you can see the spark plug, somewhere there. Yep, that's on there. Now if I spin this one around, you can see that, yeah, it's sparking away there. Distributor's making some noise. Looks like a reasonable size spark. That battery's nothing fancy. It's just a 12 volt battery. I think it's got about 12.4 or something in it. Um, so it's kind of about half charged. What I'll do now is let's put the other five spark plugs in there. That spark plug is the one that uh, I picked as being faulty, but I think I might have been wrong about that. So that's the used one. I've got five more um, new, spark, new spark plugs, and I've also got six um, new leads, and um, the lead to the coil is also new. So that'll be um, no used parts there at all. almost 12.2 volts but for a comparison we'll give it a look at the end and see what's left let's see if we get sparks out of all six of them that's not as big but that's probably fair enough I don't know whether this is going to be enough to make it get hot, but um, might need some more charge in my battery. Can't see that one.
Yeah, all of them going. Haven't got the firing order right, but hey, kind of everything. Just for curiosity, I wondered how fast this drill actually spins. And with my little tachometer, got a bit of reflective tape on there. And it's on high. Doing about a thousand RPM. Uh, kind of like a quick idle. So with this one down the bottom here, I don't know whether you can even see that. Key's still on. Yeah, you can see that. What happens if I spin her up? Lots of nice little sparkies. And the big question is, does the um, does the coil warm up? About 30 seconds. It normally takes about three minutes. I might need a bigger battery. Up about half a degree, 25.9. It was basically almost too hot to hold on to. Like a warm, like a yeah, pretty hot cup of tea. Twenty-six point one. That's about two minutes. Twenty six point three. That was my thumb. Well, I think, <laughs> I think it's just warming up in here. Never liked these things very much. Let's see if that's getting warm. No, stone cold still. The drill's slowing down there. I wonder if the resistance on on here has changed. Excuse my arm. What have we got now in the voltage? A little bit, 12.1. One point three, that's about the same. I'll have to pull the plug off to check the other one. Maybe I need to do this again with a bigger battery on it. One that might have um 
Turn the key back on. And that might generate a bigger spark. I'm going to need another battery for my grill. Oh. Well, that's very interesting. I guess there's no such thing as an unsuccessful test. It's not quite apples and apples because uh, different distributor. So perhaps my other distributor doesn't like that coil very much or that coil doesn't like the distributor. It's probably a better way of looking at it. The coil I've got in the car now is a slightly different version. Um, it has more resistance than this one across the plus and minus pole. So I guess I'm just going to have to drive around in the car for a while, see what happens. Um, but I think nonetheless, this was a, a useful test. Um, if you ever want to see a distributor going off a car, that's how you do it. All I need now is my compression tester. Just for fun, I stuck my uh, spark tester in the line on the first spark plug. And that's flashing away just like you'd expect. And I think, yep, that spark plug is still making a spark down there. So that all seems to be working. I never did check the gap on these, but I don't think that's going to make a huge deal. All right, guys, I think we'll call that a, uh, a successful test. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Well, I can't really see you. <laughs>